Hi everyone and welcome back to our short videos on business studies. Today we will be looking at methods of information gathering and we can gather, we can learn about how to gather information for two types of research, whether primary or secondary. But the purpose of today's class is to look at primary research alone. Okay, now let's look at what uh what the methods of you know primary research is okay and there's a few here as you can see observation interview questionnaires or survey focus groups test marketing and loyalty cards and databases these are various ways to gather information through primary research which means to gather first-hand information and on the screen on my right hand side you can see so many definitions also labeled to us one two three four five six but they're not in the correct order because i assume that you would have covered this in class already so i'm going to give you some time about I don't know, 15 seconds or so, all right, to go through this and try and match the correct definition to the correct type of method to gather information. Okay, so it's time for us to basically check our answers. So we've learned there is a couple of ways for us to gather information through primary research. Okay, and they're on the screen right now. And let's check your answers. Okay, so number one, easy method to gather large quantities, quantitative quality data, cost effective when used on websites, can use open or closed questions, that those falls under questionnaires and surveys. All right, questionnaires and surveys is defined as such where it's easier to gather large information when you send out a group you know, or a series of questions in bulk, and it's, if it's placed on website, where websites where people are able to click on it immediately and give responses, these are what we call as questionnaires or surveys. For number two, interview is defined as, uh, you know, you can gather uh, information qualitative data, you speak to someone to understand their buying behavior, their intentions, you can probe to ask deeper questions to understand why they do certain things. That helps when you do an interview, all right, to gather primary research methods. Huh? Thirdly, loyalty cards and databases is linked to number three on my right hand side. With loyalty cards and databases, you're able to collect a lot of information about your consumers, all right, and their purchasing behavior or what they buy right and this can of course increase and build your customer profiles and you're able to identify what sells best based on their buying behavior you get this through loyalty cards and databases now number four is a method to gather information through observation so how do you do that basically you sit in for example in malls and you look at what people buy you observe their true behavior you can identify common patterns whether they react to sales immediately or to a certain color or to a certain design it of course requires you to be very dedicated in observing people okay now method number five is test marketing Right, test marketing is basically selling a uh, you know a set of products just for test purposes to see how sales rise, how people react to a particular product. All right, it's not in large scale. Normally, in a smaller scale, just to observe and see people's buying behavior on a certain product that you're trying to launch. Now, sales data provided 
can give you a clear reflection of popularity of whether people will want to buy your product by testing it on a smaller scale. And of course, you need to use this in terms uh, in conjunction with observation, which means also looking at how they buy that particular product and what motivates them to buy, right? Now, which means that leaves us with point number six or method number six, which is focus groups. Now, focus groups is basically selecting selected from a group of people with from different segments or different representative of the market, right? Putting them into a room, having a discussion with them in terms of a particular product, what are their views are, getting first-hand information, almost, uh, you know, similar like an interview, but in a smaller group with a, a good amount of people from different types of I mean, levels of the market, right? To get um, more information about people's buying behavior. Right, so you have six methods here to gather primary research information. Okay, now this is where you need to test yourself on your own, and there are some questions one, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's always five questions that I try to put out for you so you rem remember. Explain two methods of gathering information through primary research, explain two disadvantages of gathering information through interviews, define what is meant by focus group, explain two disadvantages of using test marketing as a way to gather information, explain two disadvantages of conducting questionnaires to gather information. So the purpose of this section is to really assess your understanding on the various methods of gathering information through primary research, what is the good? What is the bad? Right? Because your exam questions will, will scatter around these areas, right? So it's good for you to really understand all these methods of gathering information through primary research. As always, this means we have come to the end of today's lesson. Thank you so much for watching this far. I hope you're able to follow. If you do, please share, like, subscribe, and comment where you, where you can. Thank you so much and have a great day ahead.